Nutella, Nutella, get me that sweet, sweet Nutella. Mmm. -hmm. I get that some gangs are all about robbing banks, but who needs dollars in the waistband when you can have Nutella in your face hand? Ow. Hello and welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Rebecca Felgate covering the news for you, and today we are talking about one brown and sticky heist. A sweet toothed gang in Germany stole 20,000 kilograms of Nutella and a smaller haul of Kinder eggs. The haul is said to have been worth around 70,000 euros, so that is one sweet treat indeed. The Choco Raid went down in the town of Neustadt, which is 120 kilometers south of Frankfurt. This all happened on Sunday. Glorious, tasty Sunday. Police are looking into whether or not the crime is linked to the theft of an empty trailer in Weimar, which also was stolen at the weekend. Police say that a sizable getaway vehicle must have been used to take away the stolen goods. The plot thickens as it emerges that this was actually the second chocolate crime in a week. 53 grams, so just over your average sized chocolate bar of chocolate, was found dumped in Schleswig Holstein. Although, to be honest, that really is a very, very small amount of chocolate, so I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the size of Nutella heist. I think it's just a kid who stole a chocolate bar. How do you even go about hiding that much Nutella anyway? It's like you can't shove it under your top. How many jars is even in 20,000 kilos? I need more information. Police are currently trying to decipher whether or not the heist was a result of opportunism or whether this was a planned chocolate attack. They've been warned that the general public should be vigilant and wary, saying that citizens should immediately contact the police if they're offered large quantities of chocolate via unconventional channels. I don't know what that means. Like, someone comes up to you in the street and opens a big trench coat and he's like, Nutella? I don't know. So guys, if someone tries to give you a few jars of Nutella on the down low, watch out. These could be the chocolate thieves. It may sound funny, but actually it's a pretty serious crime. If there's one thing that I know about Germans is that they actually take Nutella very seriously. One of my friends lives in Cologne and they have a very special device that scrapes the last remaining remnants of the Nutella out the jar. They absolutely do not like to waste that semi-liquid gold. So before I wrap up this video, I just want to respond to a couple of comments from a video I made earlier this week about Queen Elizabeth stepping down. Ernesto Estrada wrote, Why does a city have a queen? Well, Ernesto, Queen Liz is actually queen of many a city. She's queen of all of the United Kingdom, so England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. She's also queen of the Commonwealth, which includes many countries. Sorry. Cities. The city of Australia. Lysery wrote, Not true. Camilla will not become queen as it doesn't work like that. Prince Charles will become king. Of course, no one likes him or Camilla. Camilla will still be a duchess if Charles is crowned. Now, that's not actually strictly true. The way it traditionally works is that she would be called Queen Camilla because she would be queen consort to the king. This is customary for the king's wife. She won't actually have any ruling power, nor will she be the monarch, but she will still be queen by title. Finally, Rachel Bonora wrote, I audibly gasped. <gasps> That's what we're looking for. I want you to click on our stories and go, because <gasps> it, oh yeah, we're filling you in. So guys, that's all I have today. Do you know who stole the Nutella? I know it's tasty, but guys, you should never ever steal. Stealing makes you a bit of a douche, and things are much better when you earn them anyway. That way you can enjoy every last bite of delicious Nutella. I love Nutella. Yay! Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I'm Rebecca Felgate. Happy to cover for you today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed to Inform Overload. I'll see you next time.